What is up? It's your girl Simone here. And today in this video, we have a wig. We have a unit that I am so excited to try. I've really been wanting to try color recently, but I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot to color dye bleach hair. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not in a mood for it, but I still want it. Today we have the Sophieology wig. She partnered with Ali Pearl and I've seen her and many others wear this wig and it looks amazing. A little ASMR. So here's the wig. The color is amazing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is way out of my comfort zone. I like to stick with my browns, the warm tones. So this being super icy, very different for me, but I feel like I'm gonna love this one. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. Okay, there is no headband though. So if you wanted a headband, you will have to install your own headband. Just letting you guys know. Side note, I'm gonna be doing an offers reveal because I did decorate, buy some furniture. I'm still jazzing it up. I feel like these knots might have to be bleached and I am not going to do that. I am going to do my little makeup trick. Okay, so fits perfect, fits like a glove. Now the only, my only main issue here is the lace is very white. So I just don't feel like it would be wise to have to, wait, should I? I mean, I'm liking it. It's a lot of gray though. I thought it would be like a nice even mix, but I'm excited for it. It's different for me. I colored the lace. Um, this powder is not as pigmented as it should be, so it didn't really like take too much of it, but it's not really showing up in a wig as good as I would want it to be, but it's okay, it does the job. I'm gonna use glue for this. So sometimes when you have glue, you don't really have to use a headband. If you have more like gotta be glue holding spray or gel or anything that's more of a liquidy consistency, then yes, I would say you wanna use a headband to just keep it firm and in place, put the wig on. I'm gonna use my curling iron. Usually I would use like my hot comb, but I'm just, I'm gonna use the curl nine. I actually used it for one of my wigs last week and it looked so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. It gets really hot. This is the curl nine from EAP Heat, the titanium one. And I think this is about a, a one inch. So go ahead and brush your hair back and I'm going to use my curl iron and I'm just going to, ow, this thing is hot as hell. Just lightly smooth it back. So I definitely plucked this side way better than I did this side. I might take it off and repluck. This side looks so much better. This side versus this side. I'm going to pluck out this side, especially like right here. Yeah, Halloween was yesterday, so oh dang, my teeth got stained. Okay, <laughs> put candy away. But yeah, Halloween was yesterday, so that's why I'm over here eating a ring pop. Anyways, let me go ahead and fix this lace because uh it is looking a little odd. Because this lace is not my favorite, what I'm gonna have to do is cut off a lot of this lace because I don't want to see that, you know. I'm gonna just trim off a lot. Okay, so get you a scarf or elastic and just tie this down. All right, so let this sit for a while. And what we're gonna do in the meantime is get a brush or a comb. And I wanna start setting the hair to go back. And we're gonna use our curling iron. Ooh, I have burned my ears.
at this point i wanted to go ahead and perfect my hairline now i wasn't a huge fan of the lace but the hair on this wig is just again it looks frizzy but it's super silky like it's the weirdest thing but i love the color i did curl my baby hairs and then if you actually spray if you have hairspray spray the edge of your edge control brush like the part with the bristles and use it to keep the baby hairs down and that will definitely help with just making everything look uniformed now i did use the curling iron to pretty much make the hair go where i wanted it to go and then it's a series of me flipping it forward and flipping it back if you have a wax stick use to put your fly waves away now for an actual a more feathered look if you curled the hair down like towards your face like how i'm doing now and then you brush it back like wrap it around your head it's a huge difference versus you just curling it and flipping it as you're curling it so watch what i'm doing right here it just looks so different and actually during this video i really wanted to finish it for you guys so i definitely posted on on instagram but this this day i was actually having an allergic reaction <laughs> so i was agitated irritated and annoyed as i was doing this video and i couldn't take benadryl or i would have been knocked out before i could finish the video so i really was just just honestly winging it and hoping for the best And then I did go ahead and put foundation on, I mean concealer, that has a yellow undertone onto my part. Now this is me looking nuts, but I didn't really include all my makeup in this video, but I showed you guys a little snippet. And this was my end result. I absolutely loved it. The hair was silky. Now, again, brush it to your desired look. You're gonna have to brush and wrap down, wrap towards your, wrap to the back and smush to the front. Loved it. This hair was immaculate. So I say curl underneath instead of flipping it. 